we went to Ashford to grab our free coffee from Cafe Nero and then explore the often forgotten side of this historic Kent town. Come along and join the adventure. Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Hope you all are well and having a really good week. We are on our way obviously to get our free coffee at the Ashford Designer Outlet. Free coffee day! But we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to venture around the area of Ashford. So we're going to keep the car at, at the, the Designer Outlet. outlet. Yeah, oh hell yeah, it's free parking. And then we're just going to walk and wander and see where we end up. Yeah, well we always, literally, the weekly routine yeah, is we come to Ashford Designer Outlet, we grab our free coffee, and then off we swan on an adventure somewhere. But we never actually take the time to just actually walk around Ashford itself. So, no. so we're gonna, as it's a nice evening, we're gonna take this opportunity, see what we can find. It's probably absolutely nothing, but we know. always think that we're gonna find nothing, though, yeah. and we always find interesting things. You'll be surprised. Yeah. So I don't know why I'm going like this. I'm like. <laughs> so we've grabbed our free iced latte from Cafe Nero. We're now at the very back of the Ashford Designer Outlet. We normally wander around here, do all our shopping. But no, this time we're heading out the back. It's been ripped apart, that store. There's, I don't know if there's something going in there or not, but yeah, it has been ripped apart. Anyway, we're heading out the back here to start a bit of an adventure around Ashford. No idea what we're gonna see, no idea where we're going. I guess we're gonna find out. Of course, the first thing we come across, Ashford International Station. This brings back so many memories because this is where I parked. I remember when we went to Disneyland Paris last. Yep. Remember when love is normal? I don't think, I may be wrong, somebody will correct me. Noisy! Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think the Eurostar are even stopping here at the moment. That's one of the reasons that the outlet, which is literally right here, has been so quiet because so it normally gets so many people coming over from France and Belgium, see their tax-free shopping, and they're not here, which is uh, kind of sad. Yeah. How blue that sky is. I know, it's like, so different to the other week. I know, like so many torrential downpours. Anyway, I think we can go this way. This sign shows just how many international visitors this place normally gets. Obrigado, Portuguese, Grazie, Italian, Danke, German, Merci, French, Genkoya, Polish. Not even gonna attempt the others. Duck. Mind your head. <laughs> That's clever, I like that. This is weird. We're going under the railway. Go. It, says, um, go. it says we're heading towards the River Stour, there, so I can walk alongside the river. It's probably really dark now, you probably can't see a thing. Oh, it's a bit eerie. Oh, we're in the bike lane. Oh, look at this, you can actually see the reflection in the water. How cool. cool. They must have oh, you're, you're back. really backlit. But nice. then if you look behind us, I'm assuming this is artwork, it's not graffiti, right? I mean, graffiti is artwork. It's got graffiti on it, so I'm assuming. I don't know. It's intentional. Look at this. Yes, it's I thought this was a pipeline, it's not. I a thought bridge. it was a pipeline, but then we saw someone <laughs> go over it and was like, whoa! Kind of tripped you out a bit, didn't it? It did trip me out a little bit. I was like, why is he riding over the top of a pipe? <laughs> so we're just following the river Stour at the moment. There's a skate park on the other side of the river, and we can hear the skateboards like keep whacking into the ground, and we just heard a boom and then followed by a oh! And I was like, mate, that sounded like it. Hurt, yeah. So we felt it from here, so. <laughs> It's, it's the Olympic thing, isn't it? It's the Olympic push. They're all out skateboarding now because we've done well in the skateboarding. Mm -hmm. We're just going to stick to the walking, I, I think. Young, being able to just sit in a skate ramp and just chill with your friends. You're 29. No. We found a little bridge. You know how much we like a little bridge. I like a bridge. Do like a little bridge. It looks like there's a park on the other side. There's somebody sat on a picnic table there. So we're going to uh, cross over the river and go and investigate. Quite a fast flowing one, really, isn't it? Uh, and out get a little rocket. canoe in there. I was going to say, fun. there wasn't a lot in this park. It's called Civic no. Park. It's just like a green space with loads of benches and stuff. But there's loads of people working out, and we would have joined in, you know, but. Don't want to show them up. Didn't want to put them to shame. No, nah, that's no right. No idea where we're going now, though. No, I mean, like, this looks like it leads into, like, the backyard of a God knows what. Oh well, this is oh, like a, a back of a pub. I don't know. We'll find out. There's another abandoned building. Oh, there's a mills. there's a pigeon in there. Flower mills, 1901. Look, uh, right at the very top. 
I'd love to go. Oh, that glass is really smashed there. I, I really want to go and explore it. Oh, look. Oh, let's go investigate. Oh, it flows underneath there. I don't know what. Yeah, well, that makes sense because it was a flour mill. So oh, we would have yeah. needed the water to turn the wheels That's to right. mill. So it makes sense now. But it's just abandoned now. I wonder what happened to it. I need to Google this and find out. This bit looks quite new. This bit does, but then someone smashed into the glass there and I could see pigeons flying up in there. Lovely palm How come they're allowed in there and we're not? I do love a palm tree. Yeah. They're pigeons, Josh, they're pigeons. Yeah, I'm a human. I have my rights to be nosy. So, if we keep walking that way, we'll end up in Faversham. I'm walking back to Faversham. Well, let's go, come on, onwards. So we're just walking down Churchyard Passage, did you say? Yeah, well the church bell started ringing and I was like, oh, we should try and find the church. And then as we come along, there was this cute little alley I called Churchyard feel like Passage. I, could, I feel like I can see parts of the church. I so. mean, I feel like the fact that it was called Churchyard Passage kind of gave us the clue. <laughs> but, ah, there she is. Oh, there she is. Bear with. It's really pretty around here. It is really pretty. Look how quirky this is. Like we just literally love this. This is so cool. Imagine the one thing I wouldn't like, I wouldn't like to walk home on a night out down here on my own. I mean it's lit. It's no different to anywhere else. But we literally just walked up the high street and it's like classic McDonald's, KFC, Subway, Starbucks is always a plus point for us. But uh, <laughs> this is really different. I always mm. I feel like somewhere really historic now. Yeah, look at all the uh <laughs> Pigeons. Just another have a shot of the church. But if you come over here... So it's the Ashford Museum. But I was just looking on here, it's got a historic building of Kent plaque. And it's now the Dr Wilkes Memorial Hall, but it was formerly the Ashford Grammar School. Imagine that. I know. Being your grammar school. It's a bit tiny to where I went. It is, yeah. Not I mean, that I went to grammar school because I did not, can I add? We would have had a lot, 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 lot less students back then. Mm -hmm. I was just reading that it was erected in 1630 by Sir Norton Natchball. <laughs> what a name. Natchball. It's Natchball. Mm. It's very Natchball y. <laughs> Look at this unusual tree. I have no idea what sort of tree it is, but. Oh! I thought they'd stopped. <laughs> cool, I like it. Oh, hang on, I need to do an Instagram quick. Does it get more British of an evening than this? Churchyard, church bells going, historic building, quirky little streets like this. Phone box. Red phone box. What screams Britain more than a red phone box? No with no phone in it. They've all, a lot of them have all been removed now because they're out of service, obviously. Yep. But it's nice that they leave the phone box there and that it's still intact. How pretty is this? This is nice. Imagine living here right next to the church. It's all right unless you want an early Imagine night. Watching this again, that's my house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. If this is your house, hi. Nice. It's cute. I love it. So we found this gateway to these gardens. We think it's Memorial Gardens because it was on one of the signposts down there and looking at this, it literally says here, Ashford Memorial and you Gardens. Can see a plane down the end there. Yeah, there's a there's a plane or something down the end there, and obviously this is the memorial here, I'm guessing, so even the colours come. I know, it's very pretty, isn't it? It's all planted lovely. So this is really pretty in here, and as we've got closer to this plane, it's actually planted. It's made out of like, I don't know if you can see because it's kind of backlit, but it's made out of like, I'm going to say there are alpine plants of some sort. I'm sure someone will let you know. But uh, 2020 marked the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. Oh, okay, so that's why they erected it. It is a Spitfire, yeah. You can see the plants a little bit better from this angle as well. But yeah, it is a Spitfire. That's cool, I like it. This is kind of cool as well. This is the Ashford Borough Arms. It almost looks like a, like an astroturf. It's a bit like a crazy golf course kind of material. 
because it's planted up nicely around it. It's, uh, it's really cool. I do like a garden where you can sit in and there's stuff to see. It's a cute little garden over here in the corner as well. East Kent Baby Memorial Gardens. Oh, oh this is cute. Oh, what a lovely idea. Look at the bench with the dove on. Oh, this is amazing. Just before we cross back over the rail line, there's a massive brewery there. Well, I don't know if that's massive in terms of brewery. I don't know how you size a brewery, but... Not that big, <laughs> <laughs> but it's called the Curious Brewery. We're, we're heading over this bridge now, back over the railway line, but I don't know if we can get much of a shot from it, of it from over there, so... Uh, There's an Aldi over there. Sorry, that was really random. All the top sites. So it turns out the brewery's just behind us there. They've actually got a bar and a restaurant and there's loads of tables and stuff all sat outside. How do we not know about these places? It looked really nice. Let us, know if you've, yeah, let us know if you've been there. Comment down below. Josh has just made us come inside the International Station to see the Disneyland Paris picture. It's about as close as we're gonna get right now. Certainly feels a long way away at the moment. So we are back at the designer outlet. No shopping for us tonight, that was last week. Well, we went in the Haribo shop because I really want marshmallows and these are a pound each, so. And it saves us walking all the way over to Asda. It looks glorious in the sunshine here tonight though. Literally every time we come here normally, it's normally big black clouds. Mind you, that's normally why we come here. Patisserie Valerie. Mm -mm. We'd like to give a massive shout out to all of our patrons and our YouTube members for their continued support of our content. If you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking on our faces in the circle, or you can watch more of our vlogs by clicking on the rectangle. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.